frustrated. Hasn't quite up. had the production that he's used to, but making a tough catch over the middle right there. Jeff Okuda lines up against Metcalf. Geno Smith's throw is back to Metcalf. Middle of the field and another big gainer inside the 20. Metcalf came in, averaging only eight yards a catch. Uh, that's the least of his career. As a flag back at the 48-yard line. Geno seems to be pointing at the defense. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense, number 96. Penalty will be enforced half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. Well, you come into the game with an emphasis on being physical, but you also have to be smart. And you can see right there, Bugs just kind of gets that forearm up into the neck area of Gino. Tuned in as they're watching today. After the fumble, after the takeaway, Gino Smith, no offense. There's a flag down as he gets a first down. Pass interference, offense, number 14 and number 19. 10-yard penalty, we play first down. There. See Metcalf. Looks like a block once that ball's caught. Remember Metcalf said he loves blocking corners, knocking those little guys over. Smith. For Metcalf, who's open. DK Metcalf trying to put a move on. And Metcalf down inside the two-yard line. A good catch and carry. Deshaun Elliott kept him from getting a touchdown. And it's going to be the use of hands right off the line of scrimmage for D.K. Metcalf. That's going to be the difference. Jeff Akuda lined up over and watch that little smack. Gets him turned to the outside, and that ball's there as soon as he turns his head. Geno Smith knew that he had one-on-one -on -one there. In the first three games of this season, they're the only NFL team without one. But Smith wants more for Metcalf, and he hangs on. What a grab at the 48-yard line, working against Jeff. Almost identical to the play that he caught earlier. You're going to leave him one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. I know you, that, that you have some faith in Jeff Okuda, and you can see them getting physical right there. DK had his hands on Okuda the whole time. Okuda is such a great job. Anybody, Aaron Glenn, very aggressive. Geno Smith well protected, and Metcalf open in the middle, knocked down. We'll see if they give him the progress as Malcolm Rodriguez was there. He needed to get across the 35 for a fake to penny. Geno Smith is going for it all. Coverage on Metcalf is good. No flags. Looks like Metcalf just stopped his feet a little bit early on that one. He's one of the best in the league on contested catches, but he stops and just kind of didn't even get the jump off in time. Kirby Joseph and Deshaun Elliott were both back there. That's how you're supposed to play defense. Aaron Glenn talked about it. Try and get 2019 that draft list we talked about that he keeps up in his locker and that keeps referring back to many years later. And I remember it because he had, he had such a great combine. People were wondering where he was going to be drafted. But you see all those players that ended up getting drafted in front of him. Some of those careers have worked out very well. Some not so much as the others. But Debo Samuel, A.J. Brown, okay. But one yard play that wasn't a touchdown but set up a touchdown. And Smith on the move, incomplete for Metcalf. Jeff Okuda making a big play there. Jeff Okuda having to play off-man coverage because they have DK Metcalf lined up in the slot. But he's going to be trailing and never gives up on this play. You never want to look back at the quarterback when you're in a trail position right like that. You need to be able to keep your head forward, run full speed, get back in phase, catch up. DK Metcalf on the cart being taken from the field moments ago. Seven catches in the game. One of the Lions. Penny, can he do it one more time? Yes, he can! It seems like when the Seahawks needed it the most, they gave it to him and he ran through the Lions. You can see Pete Carroll all fired up on the sideline, and that's the way he would prefer.